Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Third episode. Way later than the last two episodes. The last two episodes are a while back. But I'm recording them at the same day. Um, yeah, I told in the previous two videos what's the reason behind the long pause. Oh. A cutscene. Okay. Why that little... What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wow, very friendly. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvon? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. I had a little cut. And what is with this form it's in? Um... I met it at the bottom of this cliff. See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but David fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before, it looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't find while it's like this. The form Miraidon takes in battle, that's its true form. Miraidon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? You can't go in the lab, it's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Do you? Miraidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you are up to ordering Miraidon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Yes? <laughs> well, look at you. Quite a little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use the spell to blast these doldrums away. Okay. Oh, Raffel! Bite it. No, don't bite me back, bite it back. Now oh, it flinched, and now we scratch it. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Wow, David, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. But if you really think you can take me right on of my hands for me, you'll need this. It's a Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Mm 
Hmm? So, why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oi! Can you not hear me or something? Fine, by the way... Uh, fine, by the way... What? Uh, what a weirdo. Okay. I hate when they make texts that just move on their own. That oven guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm going to ring some answers out of him. But, oh, right. We gotta climb the, line the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Okay, but first... I wanted to go around. A revive. I almost stepped on it. South Province Area 1. Interesting. Well, you have quite a good view of everything. But honestly, from what I see now of this area... This is supposed to be an open world, right? That's how they made this Pokemon game. I think the first open world Pokemon game they made was uh, uh, Legend Arceus. But... I don't know, from what I see, it looks pretty empty. There are a lot of of meadows, but only few wood, few trees. I don't know, I hope it's not feeling too empty when I walk through it. But now from looking, I don't know, I'm not too happy with the open world design from what I see right now. Wait, is that a poker center? Why does it look like a gas station? I don't know, maybe just my imagination, but from here it looks like a gas station, like... Or like a drive through or something, you know what I mean. Like, not like a building. It doesn't look like an actual building, I don't know. Look there, that's Mesa Gusa. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's going to be so great having you in the same class, David. But all that schoolwork. Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. Is it awesome that you can see from what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature, stuff as far as the eye can see. I don't see any forests yet. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider this me officially telling you. Welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. It does look like a gas station. Let's make it to Los Platos, for starters. Uh, that's right on the way. Okay. Vamos, come on. Head over to Los Platos. That's our target now. Let's go. Oh, hey, let's battle. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. 
Oh, I have to talk to them. Okay, it's not... You see me and we battle. Okay. Man, this game is a lot different from... Playing a uh, Brilliant Diamond. Uh, that's a problem. Pack flying type is effective. I don't know, I wish there was a, a secondary kind of... Okay, I'm pressing the right stick, I don't know what it's doing, it makes the sound. Ah! Okay, that zooms on in on the enemy with L2. But just that. I wish there was more of a cinematic camera for the battles like it used to be in the older games I don't like the free camera your Pokemon are strong huh actually there are yes there are options let me check this off skip move learning okay center box manual give nicknames we leave it on for now. Vertical camera controls. Oh, inverted, okay. Camera support. You can choose whether you want the camera to track you when using the left stick to move. Interpolation. You can slow the interpolation speed when the camera makes sudden large movements. Camera distance. Auto save. Show nicknames. Skip cutscenes, music. Okay, that's. Hmm. Nothing like that. There was a way to make the map not turn around with me. That was quite nice. But. Okay, berries are the glowing things of <gasps> I wanted it. It's so cute. But yeah, this this camera is just... I don't like it. The battle camera. I'm not happy about the battle camera. Stop making me wet. Scratch. Then it should be weak enough to catch it. Nice. Oh, I can see through the floor. That's... That's another problem with cameras like this. Oh no. Its tail is packed full of the nutrients it needs to grow. I see. Well, you can claim a... Reward? Wait a second. Wait, what's the button for? That's it. Okay. Bello catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app with fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught. 
Open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you've collected on a digital shelf and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing X button. Press the plus button when looking at a Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex and you can check that Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and when they are active. Explore different areas as you adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Okay. Ah, three bags of... Okay, and the next is ten... Ten great balls for when I have twenty Pokemon in my Pokedex. Okay, that's cool. To have some rewards like this. Well, I gotta say, it really got something to it to be able to walk around an open world like this. Does it work? Can I just catch you like this? Nice. Wait, I wasn't... I wasn't looking. Someone wanted to learn an attack and I didn't... Didn't look. I, what did I just do? Uh, give him a name. If it's chronic headache peaks, it may exhibit odd powers. It seems unable to recall such an episode. Dang it, someone wanted to learn an attack. And I didn't see what Pokemon it was or what attack it was. I was just not paying any attention. Who is that? It inflates its uh, flotation sack, keeping its face above water, in order to watch for prey movement. Interesting. I have just seen something else. There. What are you? Oh, it's like a new version of uh, Felino. Of Hoopa. Hoopa, okay. Cool. What is it? Is it ground type then instead of water? That was a ground type attack at least. It's dangerous for Wooper to travel alone. They line up in groups of three or four and help each other as they walk around the wetlands. But this one was alone. I didn't see others of it. It was just alone. Maybe it was abandoned by his family. Oh. Endure. Okay, so the yellow ones are... TMs and the red ones are just regular items.
No way, Thunder Routes. Overgrow. No! No! Okay, finally. I was saying, if this... If the exact same thing happened for the third time, then you were legally allowed to... To write down Vars' line about madness in the comments. <laughs> it is highly attuned to the emotions of people and Pokemon. It hides if it senses hostility. Psychic and fairy. Awesome. It's such a strong Pokemon. Fairy type and psychic type is just amazing. That's pretty good to have in team. Maybe I... What are you? Okay, I threw from behind, so... Off guard. I don't know what that means, though. Haha! A Fido. Oh, look at it! The yeast in Fido's breath is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Nice. Oh! What? Stop watching me! We have another train now. Oh, wait, is this a. It's a Puff Puff. What's it called? Igli, igli Buff. Okay. You're mine now. It likes to sing, but is not yet good at it. With praise and encouragement, it will get better little by little. The eyes are creepy. Okay, let's challenge you. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a cool secret. Sahira the student. Let's bite. Disarming voice. <laughs> the trunk. Nice, we did it. Oh, I lost. Even though my Pokemon had full HP. Yeah, not even a zoom on the crying child when I beat him. I don't see any other routes around here. Was I just 
that lucky to catch that one? I have no idea, but now I want to see the Poké Center. It actually is like a gas station, like a... You know, like... No, not a gas station, uh, what's it called? I don't know. Like when you cross the border to another... To another country on the, on the Autobahn. You have to pay money to get over. Stuff like that. It look it looks I don't like it. I don't like it. This is my least favorite Poké Center design now. All right, David, over here. Yeah, no, don't like that. This here is a Pokémon Center. You could come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokémon. But I leave the explanations to the pros here. Happy to be of, sea of service and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemon counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payment both in cash and in LP league points. That is, one LP is worth one Poke Dollar. And this to my right is a technical machine machine. <laughs> the TM machine for short. The TMM. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach moves to your Pokémon. You need to pay in LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokémon drop. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot. Here, have some. Oh yeah, and some of these too. And at the Union Cycle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit us at the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But Mnemonix help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. What? R? Like the R button? Are you ready? Then let's go. Like... What? Goofy, sure. But it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. Oh. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around or go battle on its own or other stuff like that. Our button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon, alright buddy, let's go. Once you give the go ahead, your Pokemon will set out on its own to battle nearby Pokemon or pick up items it finds in the area. When your Pokémon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokémon gets weak, try to heal it up with a potion or some other items. When your Pokémon starts a battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders, it can battle on its own with auto battles. Meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching over it from nearby. Auto battles will be decided by the strength and the types of the Pokemon taking part in the battles, so keep that in mind when you are choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. I see. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Are your Pokemon tired and in need of rest? Okay, we're just on my birthday. Do be careful you enter it, right? You can change your birthday after it's registered. Your birth month. What? No. And your birth date. So I've got your birthday of 417. For one Master David. Is that right? That's right. Thanks for re registering your birthday with the Pokemon Center. 
You should stop by on your big day too. We'll be expecting you on 417. Yes, um, I'd like to heal up my team. Oh, by the way, did you know? When you don't know where to go next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff there can give you tips about where you might want to try. Plus, they register their suggest uh, destinations on your Rotom phone for you. Or did you already know that? Well, I do hope my little tidbits come in handy. Come back and see us again whenever you need. Interesting, and that's this thing. Um, Poker Portal? Okay. Uh, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again next time to Pokemon Violet. Goodbye. This is a little extra. I just found out there's a lot of things we can get. Um, I'm gonna add this to the end of the episode, but just so you see it for once. I'm not gonna show all of them, but we can actually get all three starters and some extra items through codes at the moment. So yeah, that was me getting another Sprigatito. The event of this one ends on September 30, so way after, way before this episode is released, so sorry about that if you didn't know. Um, but the other Pokemon that I see can be gotten until uh, October 31st, November 30, November 30, January 25th and February 28th. So there are still some to get. I will get them now and then in the next episode maybe. That would be a fun idea that I use the three starters in my team so I can test all of them and see how they all evolve and have a good uh, variation in my team already. So thanks for watching and until next time.